Hi, I'm Kenneth Wajda and I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about gear and my topic is fat lenses. Sometimes if you see an old camera laying in a box at a yard sale or a flea market, an antique store, what I most get excited about is fat lenses. Like this. This was a this is a Vivitar Series 1, which I think was their more expensive model. It was a, or it is, a 35 to 85 f2.8. But look at that front element. Look how wide that thing is. That thing is really a wide fat lens. And when I see a fat lens, I think, that must have a wide maximum aperture. And it does. It's a 35 to 85, and it does not have a variable aperture. So when you when you zoom in, it doesn't get darker like a lot of the modern lenses do. Because the way they make lenses cheaper and lighter with less glass is they make it as you zoom in, some of the light is eaten up. But this one is a, a, a straight 2.8 all the way through. 35 to 85, it's got a Nikon F mount, so it's for the older first series F mount. It's not AI, it's not ready for the later models, but when you see something like this, so I bought a Nikon F recently for $100, and for that $100 it came with a, a 105.25, it came with a 51.4, it came with a 35, it came with a 28, and it came with this one. This one I thought nothing of, except for when I noticed how fat it was. Even the lens hood is gigantic. and. All those other lenses I knew were going to be great quality Nikon lenses, but this one is a handy lens to have around because it has that fast 2.8 when you zoom. I like fat lenses. I like cameras that feel like something substantial in my hand when I'm using an SLR. And this one's in great shape. Like I said, you pay a lot of money for a shoot-through zoom with a, a fixed aperture. It doesn't stop down on, on zoom. So. This was a, a special find, and this will come in handy a lot of times when I'm shooting something which probably has a lot of low light and I need to be able to shoot 2.8 into the evening, say. So, fat lenses. Keep an eye out for them. I found on a, an old Konica one time, I was at an antique market. It was like an outdoor antique market in Jersey, and it was really boxes of junk. And this one table, had an old Konica camera, so I picked it up. But what impressed me was the lens wasn't a normal 50 with a small little element. It had this big giant front element. And I thought, what is that? And so I ended up buying the camera. It came with another camera and a couple lenses, but I think I paid $35 for two cameras and the camera that had this big lens on it. And it ended up being an 85 1.8 Konica lens in pristine condition with a lens hood and lens caps and I thought that lens is not a typical lens. It's an 85-1.8. That's not a 50 f2 which is the most common. That lens ended up being worth $200 and I sold it on eBay and it funds some of my other camera purchases because I'm not a Konica shooter but somebody who is a Konica shooter they were looking for that lens in pristine condition like that. And the person who was selling it, it was just a lens on the camera. So if you see fat glass, if you see big lens elements, take a look and see what they are. They may be good lenses. They may be of real interest to somebody else. And if you're looking for something that's fast, fat lenses are your friend. All right, that's today's Gear Talk. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.